tried to brush my hair, but it didn't really work. Um, it's 3.48 in the morning, but it's Anzac Day, which means... Uh, sorry. I am a morning person, but this is a little bit earlier than normal. <laughs> Um, dawn service, so every year we go, so it's usually just my dad, myself and um, Renee, and if Becky's here as well, she'll come, um, or vice versa, whoever's here will go. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to get ready for that, it's usually freezing, so I'm going to rug up, pull out some of my winter gear, and, um, and we'll try and head in about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, Really looking forward to it. It's always a beautiful service in Mulaney. And it's a hundred years, so it's a very, very important um, day. Yeah. Sorry. I'm so tired. I tried to go to bed early last night, but it didn't really work. Anyway, we'll get ready. I'm dressed. It's actually not that cold out there, but I might just make a quick cup of tea and bring that with us. Um, actually, I think Dad's already poured the water. Um, but Becky's just texted me, like messaged me saying she's got news to tell me and she's not replying saying what's going on. So I reckon, Dad, I just told Dad and we reckon that it might be, um, she's going to go back to, um, to Crete. She's, she spent a few, few weeks in Crete there at, oh, only a few weeks ago and she didn't want to leave and so she loved it. So maybe she's not, maybe she's going to go back. <laughs> Becky, tell us quickly. We're excited. <laughs> So we've just got here, and there's probably, I reckon, what do you reckon, so, yeah, triple the amount of people. Like, we normally park just out front of the school area, and we've had to go around the back, because it's just been so many more people so far, which is really good. So we're just going to head around the side, but this RSLs just to the left, and the pub across the road. In the RSLs, where you get the breaky in the morning, after that you get what's it called, the shock shotgun breakfast. And I have to admit, I have tried that once. And I was like good. sick all day. <laughs> it's like this chili mincy stuff, Beans. I think, or beans and stuff. I can't really remember. But oh, it was it was like hay tasting, but it was just oh, too much. Oh my god, look at all the people! Wow. Yeah. This is where the um, this is the town where the ceremony will be tonight, this afternoon. No. Lunch time. Oh, Ten o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Too early to say anything. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to this special dawn service. At this time, 100 years ago, flags of this rock the New Zealand Army Corps were landing at Gallipoli to arrest control of the peninsula away from Turkey. Thank you for joining us here this morning to remember and honour those who have defended this country, Australia over the last 100 years. Anzac Day is a special day for Australia and New Zealand. This is our day to honour the servicemen and women who went to get the Thank you. Uh, quarter to six. It was a beautiful service, really nice. And now I'm hungry, so time to make some breakfast. Uh, yeah, it was just so many people there. It was such a good turnout. So yeah, so now we'll um, just chill, I guess, until about ten, and then we'll head back out for the um, the main, the big parade through town, which we always like to go to as well. So breakfast is a um, couple of slices of salmon, some mayo, sauerkraut and scrambled eggs with uh, broccoli, zucchini, bacon and some pepitas on top. Just watching the Sacconi Jollies on YouTube and I'm going to enjoy this. It's only like 6 o'clock in the morning but I've been up since like 3.30, quarter to 4 so I'm hungry. <laughs> Right, so I'm just about to head for a walk. It's um, 7.30 now. It's a beautiful day today. I'm out of my full-on winter gear now and just in some shorts and a, um, a light t-shirt and jacket. Um, so, oh, so I normally, so I've been donating blood since I was like 16, right? 
it's just something I've always, you know, really liked to do, give back to, you know, to people who need it. And then, so I think I've donated something like 26 times or something. And, and I got a letter in the post on the week, oh, a couple of days ago, and it said basically that I can't donate anymore because my, the, one of the tests came back as false positive. So it, and then it's, I was a bit confused by the test, uh, the the letter. So I gave them a call, and they the doctors had gone home, so they gave me a call back yesterday. But basically, it has something to do with the new testing that they've got. Every two years, apparently, they change over. However, because of this result, I can now no longer give blood for like two years because they said it's absolutely got nothing to do with me, uh, nothing to do with, yeah with my blood and it's just the results that came it's going to keep apparently it will keep happening if i um if i donate again they'll have to just discard the blood so there's no point in donating so yeah i don't really don't really get it but it's apparently nothing to do with me it's just just the technical part of the testing so hmm, anyway strange i have to say i feel so disorientated like being up since i don't know three well, I kept waking up every like four, an hour. Like I woke up at quarter to two, quarter to three, and then obviously I was getting up at quarter to four. Uh, so I think because I knew I had to get up, I was like, you know, con un subconsciously like my my brain was like, is it time? Is it time? <laughs> um, so anyway, but I just feel so out of it. Like it's only like an extra an hour and a, a bit over an hour from when I normally get up. But I just I don't know. It just feels really like I've been up for so long that it's like. Uh, if you did get up in this time normally, you'd feel that you'd have so much more to the day. Yeah, strange. So I'm just about to listen to this podcast. It's called uh, Adventure in, Adventures in Happiness by Nick and Jessica Ortner. And then the actual episode is episode two, The Mechanics of Manifestation. Uh, they, where they interviewed Mike Dooley. And it's um, just really, really interesting. This is the second time I'm about to listen to it. I just, I've got a lot out of it the first time and I've recommended it to a few people already. But if you're looking for something to listen to, it's very insightful, kind of quite inspirational. Just a way of just looking at things differently in a different perspective of, of life and your attitude. And yeah, I really liked it. So, oh, it's so pretty. All oh, the trees are starting to turn orange. Pretty. And then soon they'll all drop off and it all will be heading into winter. It's actually not as cold because I think I mentioned it before, but usually at Anzac Day, it's in the morning, it's freezing. Like it was cold this morning, but it wasn't absolutely freezing. But normally it's quite cold. But the sun is out and it's going to be a gorgeous day. And they're off getting ready. We're only about five minutes from town, so they're heading to the um, to the parade for the Anzac. Hi. Ah, nearly home. Had a really nice walk about an, uh, an hour and a half. So now we'll go home, have a shower, really thirsty, and and get ready to go to the parade. We're gonna meet. Dad's just gone t with my Hold a sister to um, to Gatton actually, which is like two hours from here. He left oh, about six o'clock to pick up hay, come back, and then um, he'll meet. They'll meet us there, and then my grandma will also meet us there because she lives in in town as well. So that'll be good. And then we might go out for a cup of tea after. Oh, it's getting hot now. Front looks 
with the tree all cut down. So that's where, to get perspective, um, my room's under the house, so I go down those stairs and behind there. Got the granny flat and the house on the right. And then the shed, you probably can't see it, but the shed's just down there. And that's um, where the animals get locked up at night for the cows and where the milking happens. So, yeah. And we're off to the parade. Amy's all ready. She's looking forward to it. I had to park quite a way up the street because it's all blocked off in the main main part where normally you would park. Oh, it's a hot now. It didn't take you too long to want to be carried. <laughs> no, didn't, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get so excited? <laughs> so we've just found our spot. <laughs> and Dad and Renee. What happened? time. How was the hay? Yeah. Well, we couldn't get train and trailer, wrong connection. Yeah, the jets are coming. Well, they're actually just the planes, but there will be some jets later. That's pretty cool, a double fly over. Yeah, bonus, two times. I love seeing the little old men and women like in the in the cars. It's so cute. <laughs> There must there probably be like royalty in there. <laughs> we can go and cut some trees down at all these trees. <laughs> the town what she tried to do last year. <laughs> it's the town yeah. crier. And um, he lives next door to my grandma. <laughs> And she wanted to cut some trees down, but he, he, he couldn't. Yeah, they, yeah, their properties backed each other, but he couldn't be there when she did it. So, oh, funny. Wonder if old Jim's in the rally. All the RSL. Oh, lady, kids, a primary. That's like, oh, so cute. Yeah, Becky was that age. I was yeah. grade five, so a little bit older, but oh, so cute. Yeah, and then the Pony Club. Once upon a time, Renee, wasn't it? There would have been Renee on the horse. Yep. And now head down for the service. Whoa, heaps of people. library there. Just parked our bottoms on the ground, ready to watch the service. More we'll listen to it there rather than watch because there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people over there. So they usually got a pretty good loudspeaker that which um, you can hear from anywhere. And Dad's gone to get a sausage because he's hungry. Yeah, 
the hornet just went over it, or the jet, and it was so loud, and it just went right through there. I'm hoping it comes back. At Maple Three, which is a cafe about just a quarter up the town, and this that little shop there, CJ's Bakeries, that's where um, we all worked for like what? How many? I worked for six years. Renee worked for off and on for five or six years, and Becky worked. I don't know. Nine. Oh gosh, nine years, Renee. And Beth, Becky what? I don't know, a long time. But we all worked there, we knew everyone in town, and now it's changed to a commercial bakery, which is sad. So I've been home for a couple of hours, um, had some lunch. Now I'm just trying to sort out one of my drawers in my room. I'm just doing some some cleaning, one of my, one of my jobs on the list of things that I want to get done this month. So I'm just going to sort out some of this stuff. A lot of it's just like, I don't know, you know, car, Christmas cards and birthday cards and oh, notebooks, um, books I've got to give back to people. Um, just, yeah, random books and, yeah, just a lot of rent. It's kind of a drawer that I just put random stuff in that I need to sort out um, at a later date and organise where it's going to go. I've got a lot of, um, a lot of pretty much... I keep everything okay I've got an attachment to everything so I've got um, my parents have a container like in one of those big um, pack um, shipping containers and I've got like stacks of um, big boxes and um, uh, plastic containers full of boxes of everything so you know letters cards diaries school books everything you can think of that I don't kind of need you know on a daily basis um, that I just don't want to keep can't let go of, but I don't need access to all the time so that's kind of a lot of this stuff so I use just build up a pile and then every six months or whatever I can kind of put it all in the shed and um, in the storage containers so I've got to kind of work on this and then I will I'm just watching actually while I'm doing it um, Tony Robbins uh, in one of his videos um, on YouTube just listening to that while I work um, and pondering an overseas trip I don't know Becky um, just texted us this morning and she said um, oh I'm going back to Crete I've handed my um, notice in for her rental house and then she's um and then she's I think she, yeah, she's booked flights she's going back to Crete which was where she was for a few weeks and just loved it but it kind of got me thinking then oh, I'm kind of itching to do some travel so I um, have been talking about it with mum and dad and Renee today so I don't know we'll see but um, yeah something I'm thinking about so we'll see um, yeah anyway I'll, I'll keep going on this <laughs> okay so all I did was really just sort it out a little bit better put a th uh, like all my cards and things in the plastic sleeve and then just put all the pieces of paper in a, a pile and then when when my next um, cleaning, big clean out of the uh, container is scheduled. That can all go in there. So for now, that's all good. Just hidden away, <laughs> but, but slightly neater. So I'm just going to drop off some tools to Dad and Becky's little yellow buzz box. Uh, we're just going to leave it at my grandma's garage because it's just getting dirty and ruined while it's um, sitting here outside. Outside, we did have a big tarp, as you can see, but it just keeps falling down. So, Dad just said we'll store it at Ormi's house, but it's a manual, so I'm not the best at driving it. <laughs> but <laughs> I do have a manual license, but because Becky's is the only car that is out of all of ours, it is a manual. It um, yeah, I need to do a bit of practice in it a bit more often, <laughs> but we'll get there. Hi, it's Regan, and we're cooking tea. Having steak on the barbie, which probably Scotch steak fillet on the barbie, and Mum and I just made up a big salad, and we'll just have that with some feta and, and the steak. Yum. Oh, and it's all homemade. That's homemade. Um, home, oh, look at that homemade ghee. Hi. Try and make it. Skyping Becky. Are you camera ring? <laughs> yeah, Tavia. Yeah.
I'm vlogging <laughs> today, so I'm just saying. I'm camera shy now. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> time. It's only like five past nine, but I'm so tired. Um, such a good day today. I really, really enjoyed the services. Just seeing it on TV as well. The amount of Australians and New Zealanders and everyone around the world actually just supporting supporting this day and um, really showing their, their gratitude for, for the men and women that have, you know, put, put sacrificed their lives really for, you know, for, our, for where we are today. So it was just, it was beautiful. So really, really um, enjoyed going to the services and seeing it on TV and just, just the feeling in, everywhere. Like, you know, when you go on social media, like you're just flicking through Instagram and Facebook and things, just kind of seeing everyone come, kind of come together, which is just, it's really sweet so that was a good day and yeah just had some really good chats with mum and dad and uh, it was really nice to go with Becky and yeah we'll see you might be doing some some traveling sooner than I thought so excited but we'll see I've got to think about a few things over the next few days but um, some decisions to make for sure but I'll keep you updated okay night